Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your source filmmaker tip of the day. Today is tip of the day number 47. As always, thank you for tuning in, for subscribing to my YouTube channel, and for all the great feedback. It is sincerely appreciated. In today's tip of the day, I am going to show you how you can modify the range of the default sliders that come with the various controls in Source Filmmaker so that you can take things outside the normal range that you might normally expect. By way of demonstration, I've set up this very simple scene here uh, using stage.bsp where I have a pyro sitting in the middle, I have a camera, and I have a light. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you if I drag the field of view slider of the camera back and forth, I can go from a very narrow field of view to a very wide field of view. But it is still limited by the minimum and maximum range of the slider. Never fear though, I can right click the field of view and say remap slider range. And when I do that, I will get this dialog box that says edit, min, max, and default. Minimum is currently 10 degrees, maximum is 120, and default is 30. Now this is going to be in degrees because that is the uh, field of view value. Uh, other sliders that you remap might have different, uh, different. the numbers that you see would represent different values. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. But let's say I want the maximum to be 240 degrees. So that's a pretty wide camera lens. It's the one you'd never find in, in real life. But, and then if I drag the slider range, it can get much, much larger, and I can get this sort of weird effect to the point where it actually reverses. And now I'm getting, I have no idea what this means. I am apparently seeing so much of the scene that the pyro is gone, but his shadow is there. I'm not actually entirely clear on what that is. It's kind of glitchy. But um, you can get these very interesting effects when you start getting to numbers that are really high before it gets to 180, I believe, which is where it flips out and we get this effect. Well, the point is that uh, you can remap the range of the sliders to produce interesting effects with some of these things. And, uh, another example of this is if I grab this light, uh, I can turn the intensity up and I can turn the intensity down, but I can only do that within a certain range. Now, if I grab this and say remap slider range, it says minimum is zero, which is basically off. Maximum is 1,000. And default is 500. And, you know, makes sense. So let's set the maximum to, say, 20,000. That's going to be pretty bright if I want it to be. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's that's pretty uh, pretty overpowering right there. But uh, that is uh, a pretty bright light, uh, and so you can have some fun with these. I'm going to set this back to a thousand as its maximum, and uh, that's still pretty bright. But at any rate, the point is, is that you can remap the range of most of these sliders. And every time you do it, it's going to have a different effect. I will offer a couple of words of warning here. If you remap the range of a slider and then you make it do things that are strange uh, or don't make sense, you may crash Source Filmmaker. And when I, uh, when I mention this, I mention it because I've run into problems where if certain values are not set correctly, Source Filmmaker can crash. Specifically, I'm referring to doing things like uh, I know for a fact that if you set if you're modifying a camera and you set the near distance of a camera to something further than the far distance of a camera, in other words, if you reverse the the near and far and and force it to be uh, backwards on that so that its minimum distance is further away than its than its maximum distance. So our filmmaker doesn't know what to do with that and it crashes. And uh, I am reasonably certain that there are other things that you can do to it to cause it to to tank on you. So, you know, approach these things with a little bit of a grain of uh, a, a little bit of uh, uh, caution. But uh, as always, and I've said it before and I will say it again, I encourage experimentation. And the worst thing that can happen is, well, you crash. Uh, and just, you know, be careful to make sure you save frequently and all of that. Uh, so there you go. That's how you can remap slider ranges, and it should apply to any of these sliders that you find in Source Filmmaker. Uh, and depending on what, what you're doing and what they're for, uh, you can probably produce some pretty entertaining effects with it. So with that, that is your tip of the day number 47. I am your host, Jimmer Linz. I thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday with the next tip of the day, and in the meantime, Enjoy using Source Filmmaker.